Alright guys, out here at the house on Lewiston. Now, parking out here, there is no parking on the far side of the street, just on this side of the street. Um, a lot of work's been done to the sidewalks, so you've probably seen the assessment on the taxes for all that, but nice looking old neighborhood. I'm pretty familiar with this neighborhood. You're still pretty close to Lincoln Park and the Frey's Pavilion and all those nice spots. Now, real hardwoods in here. All in really good shape. Now your fireplace, I'll look on my listing sheet to see if that's operable. But I believe they've got it marked as uh, that it worked when they bought the place, but the sellers do not warrant it, which means it is uh, being sold as is. So if there's something wrong with it during inspection, they're not going to fix it. Downside to these houses, they're kind of plopped right next to each other. <clears throat> so not a whole lot of space in between. But a good amount of space here in the living room. Step over here to give you a little bit better look at what you've got here. And this will open up into our dining room and the stairs going upstairs. Now this is uh, four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, 1875 total square feet. Let's come up here to the right and check out our downstairs bedroom. So this is going to be the master. And for a 1942 build, they've done it nicely. The windows have been updated. The roof is in good shape. I already saw that. And this is going to be kind of a unique feature of these houses too. A lot of people won't put this kind of money to do this to the bathroom. Separate commode room. Controls for the bathroom on the wall. Get another view of the master. Not a bad sized room at all. Your bedroom, this one I believe 16 by 14. Guest bath. Nicely up in the flooring, the tile itself, the tile work. And all the windows are done. Little closet right there. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. You got two bedrooms on the lower level, and then you're going to have another two bedrooms on the upper level. This is a Cape Cod style setup. Check out the kitchen, and then we'll go upstairs. My kitchen's been pretty nicely done. Small, galley style. But it's a nice setup. Now, these are not. Um, updated cabinets, just painted cabinets, but they are original to the build. And then you've got the tile countertops, which can be kind of a pain to work with. Um, if you're working with food on the countertops or something like that, keeping it clean can be a challenge because you've got to really scrub the grout lines and you don't really have a flat surface to work with. And upstairs, they have turned attic space and you have attic access right there. Um, they've turned this attic space into closet space, which is nice. Another attic access there. Nice little dormers for your windows. And from here, you can get a little bit better shot of your roof. Really good shape. And here's your third full bathroom. And this is nice, too. This is unique to these Cape Cods, too, because usually you won't have a full bathroom up here. Third bedroom, little closet space there. Little skylight. Skylights I usually warn people to be careful of um, because sooner or later they're going to leak. And our 
last bedroom. Check out the basement and take a peek at the backyard. just a one car they're using it for storage and this is sadly enough this is what normally happens with one car garages um, they are usually just set up as storage unfortunately smell down here. And laundry area, which is nice enough. And the basement could be easily finished off. Um, drainage and this here bothers me a little bit because usually when you see that usually that's been sealed to the concrete for a reason and usually that reason because of radon let's see here and there it is this is our radon mitigation system which is running however that drain needs to be sealed to prevent any of the radon gases from getting out into the house before it can be captured by the radon mitigation system panel boxes have been updated No obvious signs of water intrusion down here. So again, you could finish this off pretty easily. Uh, I know it's kind of dark over here. Let's see if we can get a light on. There we go. Train high efficiency furnace. Shouldn't have any problems with that anytime soon. But again, an inspector will check that out for you. This is nice here too because they've redone all the plumbing with Pexline as opposed to copper or in worst case scenario is galvanized. This is nice because the entire house has its own individual shutoffs here in the basement. So if you have a problem with, say, the kitchen sink, you can just turn off the kitchen sink as opposed to shutting the whole house off to do the work to get it done. So nice updates. Water heater right there, I know it's kind of dark, but that doesn't look older than five years. Pipes are nice and clean. Won't have any problems with that anytime soon. And then storage. And again, while I'm walking around, kind of trying to see any signs of any water intrusion. Standing on baseboards, standing on the floors. So really, you could finish all of this off and make this a really, really nice, really, really nice basement. Your ceilings are tall enough that you could hang a drop ceiling with not too much problem. And because all of your mechanicals are over there, you could just wall that in, make that a big closet, and you could have every bit of this as um, finished space. But do your research on radon. That, that is absolutely, this right here is absolutely supposed to be sealed to make sure that those radon gases. And basically, the house has been tested for radon gas and has been found to have radon gases above the EPA's acceptable limit. In that situation, they put in a mitigation system, gets the levels down to a manageable level. However, uh, that drain need to, needs to be sealed. That's not, so the radon system probably isn't working as effectively as it should. Now, one downside that I'm trying to see in here is you don't have direct access to the backyard. Your only access that I can see is through the garage and they've got that back door kind of 
kind of blockaded with some stuff. So we can't really see out there. space back there. You are on about an eighth of an acre, so our space is mildly lacking. Get this uploaded and sent over to you right now.